welcome back. Today I am going to show you once again three classic iced coffee recipes using coffee maker, an inexpensive coffee maker. Many of you might already have this at home. Now all I want to share with you today is how to make the perfect iced coffee recipes using drip coffee. Now there are three factors that you have to consider when making use of coffee maker. One is the quality of your coffee. The second is the coffee to water ratio. And the third, of course, is the recipe that you will use to make your coffee. Now, how do you select the coffee that you will use for your coffee maker? You can use coarse ground coffee or you can use fine ground coffee. The second thing that you have to consider is the coffee to water ratio. In the coffee maker, you will see the indicator for the number of cups that you will make. So what exactly is one cup? One cup is eight ounces or 240 ml of water. But the usable or brewed coffee that you can use from the eight ounces will only be about five to six ounces because some of the water will be absorbed by the coffee itself. When it comes to the coffee to water ratio, my recommendation is that if you use coarse ground coffee, use two scoops of coffee. And if you use fine ground coffee, use two tablespoons of coffee. Now, scoop versus tablespoon. One tablespoon is equivalent to three teaspoons and one scoop is equivalent to four teaspoons. That means if you use coarse ground, you use more coffee. If you use fine ground, you use less coffee. So here we have, inside you have the water reservoir, you have the filter basket, this is where you put your coffee, and you have the carafe, which is where the brewed coffee goes into. Okay, very, very simple to use. All you have to do is to really put the coffee in, put the water, and then turn on the machine. For this, I am going to use a coffee filter, just so that it is less messy. So I'm going to put my coffee, paper coffee filter into the filter basket here, and we are going to make two cups of coffee. Now the reason why I'm going to make two cups only, although I'm going to make three different recipes, is because I will be using a 12 ounce cup. I will be putting the recipes for 16 ounces and 22 ounces in the description box below, so check it out. Because I'm going to use fine ground coffee, I'm going to put four tablespoons, so one, two, three, four tablespoons of fine ground coffee. Let me put this aside for now. And then I am going to use two cups of water into my reservoir. Now just to make sure that I have exactly two cups and I don't make a mistake in the proportion, I'm going to use my cup to measure and fill the water reservoir. So there you go, one. So now I'm sure I have two cups of water in the reservoir and it's time to brew our coffee. Now I don't have a plug here so I'm going to put it back there to start the brewing process. Very simple, once you've done everything right, press the button to turn it on. Once our coffee is brewing in the background, let's take a look at the other ingredients that we will be needing for this recipe. We will be using, as usual, creamer. We are going to use brown sugar. This time I'm going to use brown sugar. And we are going to use my combination of sweetened condensed milk and evaporated milk, which I call milk syrup. If you do not know how to use this, check the link above. And finally, we are going to use my blend of dark chocolate for the mocha. Now our coffee is ready, let's start making our drinks. We'll start with Americano. Now this is for a 12 ounce cup, so I'm going to use only three ounces or 90 ml of brewed coffee. There you go. I'm going to put this back in there, just so that it's kept warm. And then I'm going to use one tablespoon of brown sugar. For those that do not like their Americana to be sweet, you can skip the sugar. But this is commercial, so I'm going to put one tablespoon of brown sugar. Give it a little bit of a stir. And 
And for a 12 ounce cup, what I would normally do is to make it up to five ounces of liquid. So that means just fill it up with drinking water up to five ounces and that is your Americano. You don't want it to be too strong, so you dilute it with water. So this is for our Americano. Our next drink, we are going to make ice cappe latte. So for this, we are also going to use the same amount of coffee, three ounces of coffee or 90 ml of coffee. There you go. And then we are going to put two teaspoons of brown sugar, one, two, and two teaspoons of creamer, one, two, and we're going to put two tablespoons of our nut syrup, or one ounce. So I'm going to use a tablespoon so it's easier for you to replicate at home. So two tablespoons of the milk syrup. There you go. And finally, we are going to make our mocha. And for the mocha, once again, we are going to use the same amount of coffee, 90 ml, or you can make it up to 100. Three ounces of coffee. And we still have some more here. You can still use that for your other drink. Two teaspoons of creamer. So one, two, two teaspoons of sugar. One, two, and also because this is mocha, we're going to put two teaspoons of our dark chocolate. If you're using syrup, you have to reduce the quantity or the amount of sugar that you use. And then finally, we are going to put our Next syrup, which is also two tablespoons or one ounce of milk syrup. Once again, we give it a stir. And this is our mocha. And you know, I won't stop here. I have to make sure that they are well combined. For the moment of truth, Americano. Mmm, delicious. The balance between the sugar and the bitterness of the coffee is perfect. Latte, coffee with milk. Mmm, that is also very delicious. And finally, our mocha. Wow, that is delicious. So in summary, if you use a coffee maker, how delicious your coffee turns out to be depends on three factors. The coffee that you use, the coffee to water ratio, and the recipe that you use to make your drinks. That's all I want to share with you today. Like and subscribe. I'll see you again in my next video. In the meantime, thank you for watching and ciao for now.